Welcome to Metric Metals and You, the show that answers your questions about metric metals. Today, we'll learn about converting inches to metric units with Professor Ed Beam, Professor of Steelology at Parker Steel. Hello. Now, Professor, what exactly are these metric units? Well, Steve, metric units are simply another form of measurement. The metric system dates back to the 1700s, and it's based on units such as the meter and the kilogram. Well, hold on there, Professor. I use inches, feet, and yards to measure my steel. Many people still do, but at Parker Steel, we sell only metric size metals. And with just a simple formula, I can show you how to convert inches to millimeters. Convert inches to millimeters? What are you? Some sort of freakish wizard? Uh, no. Okay. Just checking. So, to convert inches into millimeters, we simply multiply the number of inches by 25.4. A few examples. One inch equals 25.4 millimeters. Five inches equal 127 millimeters. 0.39 inches equal 10 millimeters. See? Very simple. Well, that's all fine, Professor, but where do the space aliens come in? I beg your pardon? Well, surely converting inches to millimeters must require more than simple arithmetic. So I'm wondering when the intellectually superior beings from distant planets arrive to complete the conversion process with their high-intensity ray guns. Uh, there are no aliens required. Then there's some sort of magic involved. Ah, that must be it. Put the measurements into your top hat and wave the magic conversion wand over the hat. This should be very entertaining. I don't have a top hat and I... I assure you, Steve, simple math is all it takes to find the metric measurements you need for all types of metal. Rounds, hexagons, squares... Well, I I'm sure we could find a top hat around here for you somewhere. Not necessary, but if you'd like to make converting inch size to metric even easier, just visit the Parker Steel website. You'll find many online tools that make quick work of the conversion process. Okay, that'll do just fine. What's a website? 